Hello everyone. So in this video we will learn about teaching learning based optimization. Now TLBO is getting popularity in the recent years and is found useful in many optimization problems. In general, the population based algorithms are having two categories. One is based on evolutionary algorithms and the swarm intelligence. Now, in order to understand how we can use this uh, teaching learning based algorithm, which is actually said to be a nature inspired, we need to understand the nature. We need how the nature is working, how the nature and the component is made up of. So, we need to understand that nature inspires to solve the problem as many expect. If you look at the physical design which is available in nature, means the design of the natural creatures like the beak, the fins, likewise the wings of the whales, the wings of the birds, they give us inspiration to solve many of the problems. They give the inspiration in the designing. So many of the, our actual engineering design are based on the uh, physical structure of the nature. Then comes out the natural creatures behavior. So if you look at the ant, the fish, the birds, how they behave and do their task, this also inspires us. So one is the, the physical design which inspires us. The second is the behavior that inspires us to solve a problem. The third is the social natural behavior. So the TLBO is basically based on the social natural behavior. What does it mean? So it is based on teaching learning process where every individual is initially a learner. They learn uh, from the environment and the one who attains the, uh, the maximum knowledge will become a teacher. Now since con this uh, learning is a continuous process, the teacher will again act as a learner and keep on learning and this process is keep on revolving and once the learner attains the absolute knowledge the process will stop or you can say if you are looking for a solution you keep on improving the solution and once you get the optimal solution the process will stop so now we'll see that how the things will work in tlbo so we need to understand that uh, a TLBO is basically applied on the optimization problem. The, the problem which we deal in day to day life is optimization problem where we have some objective function where the objective is to either maximize or minimize uh, the output. There is a search space. So this is applicable to the problems where we already are aware about the solution. We are known about the solution for the problem but our approach is to find the best solution. Like when we talk of the traveling salesman problem where the salesman has to cover the different uh, cities and then come back from the origin uh, to the origin, he knows all the possible path. But the problem here is we are looking for the optimal solution, the best path. So we are aware about the feasible solution and we are looking for the optimal solution. We need some optimization methods. So already we have some traditional methods are there, but if we apply the traditional methods, they have a very high time complexity. It means the running time is too high, which is uh, seem to be not feasible. So here we will use the nature based, uh, this uh, teaching learning algorithm. And this is based on a such process, which gives us the optimal solution. Here we have a design parameters, that is a design variables which put the impact on finding the optimal solution. Then why the need for TLBO, TLBO is arised? So all the evolutionary and swarm intelligence algorithms are probabilistic algorithms and uh, they require some common controlling parameters like population size, uh, number of generation, elite size, etc. Along with this kind of common controlling parameters, they also need some algorithmic specific parameters. For example, when we talk of genetic algorithm, it uses the mutation probability, 
the crossover probability and the selection operator. Similarly, when we talk of uh, particles form optimization, it uses inertia, weight, uh, social and cognitive parameters. Similarly, in ABC algorithm, it, it needs uh, onlooker bees, the employed bees, scout bees and limit. And the most uh, challenging task is we need to have a proper tuning of these algorithm specific parameters because it affects the performance of algorithm. If the tuning is not proper, then there's a chances of getting a local optimum solution. You may be trapped in the local optima. There's also a chance in increase of the computational efforts. So this is another challenge when we go with the other kind of algorithm. The beauty of this algorithm is that there is no uh, means algorithm specific parameters are involved only we have to look to the common controlling parameters like population size and the number of generation. So TLBU is basically a multi objective optimization method where we have a population population means the group of students which we are calling as a learner we have a design variables and that means the subjects which we are offered to the learner possible solutions are the solutions that is you can say the grades of learner in each subject so we are trying to find a solution by mapping to the social kind of behavior that we observe in the teaching learning coming to the quality of the solutions so the solution will be the average result of the learner considering all the subject and the best solution is a solution of a teacher so teacher we are assuming in the society is a higher learned person who is having the maximum knowledge he also uh, delivers his knowledge to improve the knowledge of the others so here also we will see that during the process of finding the solution the teacher component is having the highest uh, fitness value or highest uh, value and it keeps on training the other to improve their value so this algorithm works in two phases uh, this is teacher phase and the learner phase teacher phase where the learning is done only from the teacher this is the first phase and the second phase a learner phase where the learning can be done in two modes each learner can learn from the teacher as well as it can also learning from the learner because at the second phase learner also gains some knowledge so learners are mutually interacting with each other and they are updating their knowledge so learner who is having a, a better knowledge than the other it keeps on uh, improving the knowledge of their peer components so let us take a look on the teachers phase so in the teachers phase we have some uh, parameters as we know teacher phase means a learning from the teachers so here we are uh, taking m which refers to the number of subject we have n number of learners so it may be a number of n from 1 to n mij is basically the mean result of learners and the particular subject j at any iteration i and x total k best i means the best overall result after considering all the subject together obtained in the entire population of the learner so this is the uh, value which is achieved by the learner the highest value which is achieved by the learner that is called k based so this is the key or the core uh, formula which is actually used to find the teacher that is to find the difference of the mean so what we are doing here is we are going to find the difference between the existing mean result of each subject and the corresponding result of the teacher for each subject and it is given by this formula as you see on the screen is equals to ri xjk best i tf mji so the important part is to understand the meaning of these terms so xjk based i minus tfm j uh, mji which you see on the right hand side in the brackets is basically the result of the best learner in the subject j 
you need to keep a note that x j k i is a value of the learner tf here is the teaching factor which decides the value of the mean to be changed so it has already been experimented the value of tf will be uh, can be anything uh, from 0 to 2 but the best result can be find out if you take the value uh, either 1 or 2 ri is a random number which is in the range of 0 to 1 and it is included to introduce randomness in the data because in the real life we have randomness in the data the existing solution is updated in the teacher phase and it is then carried into the next phase that is called learner phase so this is how we can be updating the value of each learner and the one who is having the highest value will be the teacher and then this value will be carried to the next phase so this is what we have uh, just discussed tf is a uh, this is teaching factor the value will be good if you take one and two now moving to the second phase that is the learner phase it can the phase in this phase the objective is that learner must to update the knowledge and this can be done by either mutually interacting with each other or you can take a lesson or learn from a teacher so here this is how the things can be implemented so here each learner has to be interact mutually with each other but when they interact with each other one thing to be keep in mind that the learner should have difference in knowledge means their value must not be the same then only one can learn so for every learner i is actually uh, iteration that is for the learner uh, which is a kind of entity in the population so for each learner they need we need to select two learners i and j such that the knowledge or the values must be different and if the f of xi is less than f of xj then f this x of new i is the x of old i plus ri xi minus xj what does it mean uh, when we take two learners whose knowledge are different f of xi is less than f of xj we are going to update the value now if you look at this result this is basically uh, applicable for a minimization problem if your problem objective is of maximization nature then we will change this algorithm for f of xi is more than f of xj and the things will work accordingly so this is how uh, mathematically we can implement this approach tlbo into the real life world problems and if conclude we, we notice some of the points which are specific to this algorithm that in this algorithm we don't need any algorithm specific controlling parameters we need only basic controlling parameters like population size and the number of generation but there are no other algorithmic specific parameter that is actually seen with other algorithms this is one of the advantage with this algorithm it's easy and specific because it's straightforward we know the teaching learning process so we have only two phases and the uh, implementation is also straightforward so it's easy and specific lower number of iterations are here in this approach because in the second phase all the learners are mutually learning that can actually enhance the learning process so overall iterations will be less to get the optimal solution and you may realize that these this particular approach can be applied to many practical real life problems so i hope that you have understood the basic idea of teaching learning based algorithm i believe that uh, uh, now you are in a position to apply this to many different applications to get the optimal results thank you very much